what we already know about dispersals into the Pacific um, include the fact that by moving eastwards into the Pacific region, we know our species had to cross several key biogeographic boundaries. So initially the Wallace line, most famously, and then the Lydica line, uh, which is slightly less well known, but it marks the area um, of Australasian fauna, that is sort of marsupial animals. And so by moving across the Lydica line, moving east into the Pacific, people encountered totally unfamiliar um, new animals and a landmass that would have been radically different to today uh, compared to today. So that is that New Guinea um, was at the time connected to nearby islands as well as Australia in this massive landmass called Sahul. Um, so although temperatures were kind of compressed by a few degrees even along the equator, and this is especially the case for the higher elevations around the highlands um, of New Guinea, we do know that these environments would have still retained some of the tropical features that we see today, such as tropical forests um, and so forth. So people were moving into these tropical um, islands and continents. Uh, and from agent-based modeling of um, other researchers, we know that early dispersals probably involved uh, several hundred individuals moving back and forth between the islands of today, Indonesia and uh, Sahul uh, over several hundred years. So this was this pulse of seafaring, deliberate seafaring back and forth that established a founder population in the Pacific. Um, we know from other sites in the New Guinea highlands uh, that people had, upon reaching Sahul, upon reaching what is today New Guinea, very quickly dispersed from coastal areas up into um, high altitudes, even sort of subalpine grasslands, which would have been quite cold in the time. at the time. They moved into other environments such as arid zones in Australia. And so after initial dispersal, people relatively rapidly dispersed into an array of um, different ecologies. Uh, and there they were using different types of tools such as wasted axes. Um, the implications for this in terms of how they were making canoes we could um, talk about. Humans were also hunting a wide array of animals uh, such as, at least around the New Guinea area of the Pacific, um, marsupials like couscous, possums, wallabies, tree kangaroos, uh, large birds like cassowaries, and possibly megafaunal marsupials uh, like diprotodonts, uh, which are sort of large wombats, or protemnodons, which are uh, large kangaroos.